work on multiplication and I'm going to go over a couple of different um, ways of multiplying. We'll do the partial product and then we'll do traditional. So for partial product that means we're going to do one um, multiplication problem at a time and then separate our products out. So this first one 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 40 is, or I'm sorry, yeah, 5 times 4 tens is 20 tens, or 200. 5 times 40 is 200. And 5 times 300 is 15 hundreds. And then I can add things up. And I have 1,710. I can do the same problem with traditional multiplication. If I have 342 times 5, then I would do 5 times 2 is 10. But instead of putting my 10 down here, I'm just going to put my 110 up here, and I'll regroup it in. 5 times 4 is 20 tens, and I already have one more 10, so that's 21. And 5 times 3 is 15 hundreds, 16, 17. But it's already in those hundreds places, and so then I can get my answer that way. Okay? Um, both of them work well. This is going to have probably a better chance of not making mistakes as you go through things. So I want to do a couple more real quickly, and I'm going to stick with the traditional way of doing the multiplication. So let's say... I have the answer, the, the problem, 374 times 26. So before I do that, what I've told my students is pretend that 2 is not even there. So I'm just going to erase it. It's not even there. I'm just, it's gone. So I can do my traditional multiplication right now. I can do 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 7 is 42. 43, 44, and 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so there's that. I've done with my 4, I did my 2, and I did this 6. So now, let's say my problem, gosh, I forget what I had before, um, 374 times 26. So let's say now we're doing that 26 part, and we did the ones, now we're in the tens. So because my first answer is in the tens, I have to put a place saver down here. I'm not working with the ones anymore. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 7 is 14, and I'm going to regroup. 2 times 3 is 6, and one more is 7. And when I add them up, 4, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 5, 6, and one more is 7, 7, 8, 9. So your answer would be 9,724. And just something really, really important to keep in mind is when you are writing all of your information, you need to make sure that you keep everything in the correct column for ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Okay? So I'll do one more. Um, let's see, we will do 533 times 74, okay? So for now, I'm going to pretend that 7 doesn't even exist. It's just, block it out. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12, and one more is 13. And 4 times 5 is 20, and one more is 21. And again, I've kept all of my numbers in their correct columns for place value. So now I've finished with this regrouping up here, and I'm done with that 4. Now it's time to move to the 7, but I don't need to deal with this 1's place, so I'm going to put my place saver. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 3 is 21, 22, 23. And 7 times 5 is 35. 
36, 37. And when I add it all up, 2, 4, 4, 7, 8, 9, and 3. 39,442. So keep practicing. Let us know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.